గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ సార్ డాక్టర్ వి సందీప్ గారు వి వెల్కమ్ యూ టు ద సెషన్ participants today's topic is creativity and innovation by dr v sandeep garu who is working at nit ap sandeep garu we welcome you for to the session sir thank you madam thank you uh shall i start madam please sir you can yeah. share the screen if you want yes yes i will share uh is it my voice is okay yes sir it's audible okay. fine then uh, my screen is shared yes is sir good? okay fine okay uh good evening all all of you and uh, uh Uh, good evening sir dr lakshmi narayan uh, garu uh, chair uh, it will be vijay bay section and uh, i thank uh, the uh, the core organizer of the program uh, andhra pradesh skill development corporation and uh, i th- i hope all the participants are enjoyed uh, now this uh, series particularly series uh, uh, organizing collaboratively with ieee as well as you know ap skill development corporation and uh, thanks for giving this opportunity to deliver a talk on creativity and innovation this was my topic for today's discussion and uh, i hope all of you will uh, make use of this lecture and then you will bring out some new ideas at end of the talk and as well as in our future areas yeah and uh, yeah this is all of you know that uh, today's uh, dr kalam jayanti and uh, Uh, it is 89th birthday anniversary of uh, apj abdul kalam who has been uh, who has served as a 9 11th uh, president of india uh, with distinction and who was instrumental in many uh, science and engineering technology like you know particularly missile and nuclear and aerospace projects and that's how we are now he's uh, we are celebrating you know his jayanti on 15th october uh, today and uh, that is 89th birthday anniversary and uh, this is an opportunity and uh, we should uh, now uh, recall him and we should tribute him actually and he is a great scientist and engineer and who contributed to you know indian you know technological things and the way how he worked and dedicated his whole life for the nation so that's how you know he even honored with highest recognition like bharat ratna to him and it is our duty to you know make a tribute grand tribute to dr apj abdul kalam today and uh, let us recall some of his quotes and before i enter into the topic because this creativity innovative innovation it's uh, this topic is very closely you know association with you know dr abj abdul kala so throughout his you know journey of life actually he was you know uh, telling many students and learners and many colleagues and they talks about a lot of creativity and then innovation actually so i we, i hope you like these quotes and we we used to follow and uh, you know with this quotes i'm just some of the important quotes i reflected here i just wanted to make uh, for you make your attention here and uh, god our creator has stored within him our minds and responsibilities and great potential strength and ability and prayer uh, help us to tap develop these powers and do not take rest after your first victory because if you fall in second and more leaps are and waiting to say that your first victory was just luck so that's what you know we should not be have any break after the first victory and all of us uh, do not have equal talent but all of us have an equal opportunity to develop the talents that's true and man needs difficulty in life because they are necessary to enjoy the success and next a uh, dream is not that which you see while sleeping it is something does you know not let you sleep okay and you cannot change your future 
but you can change your habits and surely the habits will change your future i am not handsome but i can give my hand to someone who needs help because my beauty is required in heart not in face look at this guy we are not alone we are whole universe is user friendly i mean a friendly to us and concept says only to give the best to those who dream and work Cre- learning gives creativity and creativity is leads to thinking thinking provides knowledge knowledge makes you great and uh, when learning is pu- purposeful creativity blossoms and when creativity blossoms thinking animate and when thinking animates uh, knowledge is fully lit and when knowledge is lit economy flourishes and uh, creativity is seeing the same thing but thinking is different creativity is the key to success in the future and primary education is where teachers can bring creativity in the children at that level so that what professor I mean, Dr. Abdul Kalam was emphasizing the creativity should bring at the school education level itself. Okay. Uh, now let us come to our topic actually with the inspiration and motivation with the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. So I would like to start my talk today and I pay uh, no, uh, no, uh, tribute to great legendary you know, soul. And uh, now what is creativity? How do you define a creativity? so creativity is defined as a tendency to generate recognize ideas and alternatives and possibilities that may useful in solving problems and communicating with others and entertaining ourselves and others so this is how we need to i mean we can define the creativity so the reasons how we were motivated or we approach creativity means we need to maybe uh, find for some novel things and variable things and sometimes we need to communicate our ideas and values something in a creative way and of course we need to in the society lot of problems that we see daily life actually so creativity also will help us to come up come out of the you know these kind of you know problems and even one can look at the you know, uh, just search in google so what is the meaning of creativity so creativity says it's a noun and uh, use of iman- uh, imagination or uh, original ideas to create something actually so this how you'll get a i mean simple uh, definition for the creativity and at the same time in order if you see the creativity you need to uh, able to, uh, you need to able to view the things in a different dimensions suppose somebody somebody will say uh, look into it differently i mean as a new way someone will say that that is maybe known to him if we look at the different aspect that you know how we are going to you know able to generate different pause so airplane if you look at so airplane was a, it was a you know creative invention okay so where i am applying here creative for a product so where creative also can be applied for purpose, persons also like you can say picasso is a great artist so but he is all you know drawings are very much you know creative artists actually so here i am applying for person so that you can also apply to the creativity for both person as well as you know product so that's how when you define creativity so you need to have it to i mean both combinations like you know uh, the capacity to produce such works so that you can also uh, we can foster our employees how much creativity they can able to exhibit it and at the same time uh, to activity of such uh, generating such products so that means ultimately your creativity is required some work that means hard work only okay so without any hard work or some work okay you cannot show any creativity uh, i uh, know uh, in your work or any i mean uh, anything that you do okay and sometimes you know you see some of the comments from somebody your friends or somebody like you know they will say you even though you show some creativity but they say it is not novel but it is not enough to be novel it's not required to be 
but it will it must be have a some value and appropriate to the cognitive demands of the situation so that is what it not to be novel sometimes you know some are creativity things will be novel sometimes you know you, you don't justify that this is novel also okay and look at the you know uh, the differences between creativity invention and innovation look at when a simple way how do you define creativity the act of turning a new and imaginable ideas to into the reality so that is what we can define and invention if you look at creation of a new idea and concept okay and innovation turning a new concept into commercial success on a or wider uh, wider spread use okay there is a, uh, there is a difference you could should sir, definitely sorry to interrupt yes, can you share the screen again sir we lost you in the middle so it is going oh. to okay yes that is true now it is okay yes sir we can see it now oh yes uh, please let me know okay i don't know this okay i didn't sure, observe sure. this yeah yes yes yeah so i was talking about the differences between invention and innovation actually okay so here just you know you are bringing some kind of a new idea and concept that is innovation but actually in all innovations not innovative because you know when you come to innovation it's ultimately it should be have you know wider success like in particularly in commercial sector actually so that means is the most economical solution if you propose on invention then it will become innovation this is the difference in between the invention and innovation actually and you can look at this so this is what creativity i can define so this how creativity is shown is a painting okay this is a what example for creativity okay and uh, this is also creativity so uh, one uh, something some uh, some poem or some letter a kid has written like this he has used this one day a cat was talking on the long way or something like okay so this is how he shown some creativity in the writing this is what called creativity okay and you look at the creativity like you know other creativity so how the people you know parked the vehicles in the malls or somewhere so parked in multi store this is what another creativity okay it's shown in engineering work okay and look at the other way okay this is similar where the outside parking this is inside you know uh, parking underground so where this is outside parking also it's multi store parking this is again creativity actually okay and you can look at the creativity things actually how you know this is what another creativity by the kids what they do is you know just it's a wood and then they put holes and put nicely put the all the you know color pencils and all this is create shorts creativity and you can look at the you know how the furniture nowadays you can see this so this is a you know bed come sofa okay this is what creativity okay in furniture and you look at the some of the furniture nowadays it's coming in built with you know shelves and all so this is what you know you can see here this is a, a sofa set you can get it and then it also night times you can use this one as a bed also so this is what creativity in the furniture actually and look at the some of the other creativities now you can see this wedding card okay how people are just you know uh, mean uh, making some you know uh, playing a thread game actually so you know bride bridegroom like okay so this is what you can see real how the uh, wedding card is made and you look at the other creativity in similar fashion you might have seen that lot of wedding cards so this is all comes under creativity they show the creativity and also you can see that you know uh, in uh, in house you know plantation okay how beautifully they have organized and then they are you know making this you know live with less soil and then they are going plant inside okay and you look at this you know this is interior design okay this is also shows you created how creativity has been used in the so in how in interior design of the house actually okay i hope you might have uh, um, you are seeing daily life in so many creative things you can look at this picture so where they have manhole is there and lot of you know it it will cause to lot of accidents also but same thing so one person has did this painting now we can see here you can avoid the accidents so this is what you know creativity is shown by some artist on the road actually so he is he is meant for some social cause here and look at this another this road is damaged now this company oral b so you might be knowing very popular you know oral b company for you know this uh, uh, toothbrush and something okay 
and you can see the how they made advertisement here this is what called digital marketing a creativity in the digital marketing and look at the this is you might have already aware some of the metropolitan district this is how designed this is a pedestrian area where we can people will work and traffic can take this is also initially cre- you no know, creativity but now when you already you have been seen what we can say this is not creative you can say but it was a creativity actually definitely so it was a thought given to know how we can segregate the, you know properly all this you know traffic management in the city is like and you look at this diagram actually where there are some automobile companies and even other companies also like samsung and volvo and other so where they have put it now you can see this picture so this picture you know cameras reflective what is coming here so this is a vehicle is coming back side so it is trying to you know cross here but at the same time it will tell there is a vehicle is coming from opposite direction so you need to wait for time so there is a video screen is presented here this is how another creativity is made it actually so okay so this is how a lot of creativity is you see in daily life i am telling some are showing some of the examples so that you will get more understand we will make close relation with the creativity now this is what here how many roads are there in this picture actually okay so many roads okay so you cannot find way to go and how to go and all actually so this is also another creativity in the engineering okay particularly the civil engineering works okay and the people are use this creative in various areas like even sales okay people will advertise in differently and then marketing in differently so you might have seen lot of sales for mobiles and other you know uh, whatever products and all and even food packing also you might have seen lot of you know creativity in the you know food uh, you know supplies and packets and all and then you can see the shops also you can see this shop is completely you know pink color all you get you know what are the items is pink color items only you will get it here and even you could look at the how students are generally you know they themselves you know come into a picture they do some creative things and all this is how students i mean kids they start learning the creativity they will i mean help you to that and also you can look at the you know creativity you can you might have seen that they during i mean taking many photographs and selfies this is how you can see here this is also creativity is it right so there is a photograph exactly it's match with her actually this i mean uh, magazine and you can look at this you know photograph where he has taken so it is you know side where of the you know uh, car so how he has taken a photo actually he is taken in new york actually and also you can see some of the pictures you might have uh, taken also sometimes like your friends also so my legs are got you know so long okay i am become a very tall person actually this also shows you created and even some some people will take the photos with catching the moon and taj mahal so many things these all comes under your creative ideas actually okay you are not you know far away from creative creativity is there in everybody life and look at the you know how the kids are you know uh, making so many creative things this is how the kids are you i mean should give the freedom to them and make them you know some show they exhibit them some creative things and all and this is how some of the nowadays some schools also promoting some creative things where students can play and then learn and show their you know creative things actually so this is what and we generally where do you need this creativity yes we need this creativity at the education level so starting at the school school level and wherever you go whether it is college or university wherever so the in education this creativity should be part of it and that that's how this creativity will bring lot of ideas and innovation and also it, it we need creativity at your work okay in your work so whatever profession you are there whatever job you are doing there whether the private sector or government sector whatever position you is there so you need to show your creativity that is possible also at your workplace like whatever environment that you are working whether it which kind of office industry or organization something so where we can you know exhibit our creativity that is possible also the people we can make some creative products also so the so that our you know whatever social life can be very much like you know uh, easy okay this using that and even you know you look at, uh, and we can apply this creativity in the uh, like any sector and domain so like you know uh, whatever sector you take healthcare or atom i mean transportation agriculture any any sector you take it so you can apply this creativity you can bring out ideas in that sector that is possible 
or even you might have seen the very simple thing i will i didn't put a picture so uh, when you see the first time like you know people are you know staying in a first floor or second floor wherever multi store building they used to put a thread and then bucket and put it down and then the milk boy will come and put the packets there and he will uh, the you know uh, the who are staying in the upper floor they try to pull it uh, like that so this is also some show you some creativity when you see first time so definitely everybody will think that that is a creativity so this is what we can i can say real example you when you go to on road or any go to row among the very any places you definitely daily life you will see some one at least one creativity around you itself it okay and it's not new to us okay and uh, only thing is how uh, how you are exhibiting when you are exhibiting okay that is what in what contents it is okay and moving to you know invention versus innovative there is a clear cut definition already mentioned so i made it elaborate here uh, with reference to joseph here uh, joseph uh, uh, peter and uh, invention is an art of uh, intellectual creativity undertaken without any uh, tough given to its possible economic import so here in this case we are not giving any priority to the economical import so invention it may be very much cost it's not a viable it's not a you know economical solution actually but it's still it's a uh, intellectual creativity it undertaken by somebody okay with, without addressing this economical issues but whereas coming to innovation so definitely it happens when frames figure out how to craft this inventions so into the cost you know constructive challenges into their business model so when you make this whatever constructive way changes so that you were you know you will whatever model or product it you make invention so definitely that will bring you bring you know success and it leads to innovations in the you know business model and business uh, i mean a business or a business and look at this you know airplane i'm giving example so airplane is not innovation okay so it is a invention okay but why because you know it's not economical solution even the making of the manufacturing of the airplane it's not a uh, i mean uh, it's not a easy job or it's not a i mean low cost okay it's a, it requires huge investments and okay and also even flying you were flying in the airplane also that is also very much cost that's not a cheap i mean what we have air fares now actually so ultimately it's not innovation at all it's just invention only and you can look at the innovations when you coming to here so nowadays you know in future uh, innovations that you are going to see so like you know autonomous cars okay already bmw and then google and hyundai and you know tesla so they are already made trials okay even tesla is bringing lot of you know uh, autonomous cars in the next 10 years actually even bmw has made successful trials also in usa and this is what we can see innovations in the you know Uh, transportation sector autonomous vehicle and you can see this is another innovation it's a belt but actually it will give the you know whatever this uh, your health conditions including your particularly this you know heart uh, you know pressure condition so it will transmit you and destroy you display here actually so this is how it is one of the innovations going to come up in the you know you know this uh, you know uh, vehicle technology and you can look at this you know this autonomous vehicles how the pedestrian recognize it and watching and what distance you uh, know how to you uh, know avoid and all these thing driving technology sector even you can look at the very narrow from this actually so what is the road length and you uh, know dimensions of loads all these thing this all comes under autonomous vehicle technologies actually this ultimately it's our innovations and you can look at some of the innovations are i mean coming by different companies like this is volvo and how you know they made interior design also this has made an innovation actually so how luxury and comfortable model they are giving actually this how also is one of the innovation kind you know uh, they are promoting by the volvo company and look at other innovations and like you know uh, some of some of you seen that some of the railway station particularly in secunderabad railway station and other railway station out so a to uh, water uh, water from a so whatever you know this whatever air compression so now you are getting the you know water from the air actually so this has been very popular and then government also supported this project and you might have seen that you know this sofia robot and uh, so many interviews were given to so many telephone i mean uh, this uh, tv channel and even you know this robot has come to you know hyderabad and uh, there was a big show in hyderabad i think i believe some 3 4 years back 
okay so this is what the again innovation you can see in the robotic technologies like so now other you know innovations are coming up with in, i mean in with the inclusion of this 3d printing technologies where the 3d printing technology is contributing a lot for this kind of low cost you know um, uh, kind of low cost materials thereby you know so many innovations are coming up actually and you, you might you are going to see lot of you know a artificial intelligence based technologies and healthcare systems also so this is also some innovations is going to be seen in the future so i'll give you some of the example later session now and um, and next is uh, this autonomous vehicles and car to car vehicle vehicle to vehicle communication how vehicle to vehicle going to be communication in the future even even vehicles also can take the charge on the way so that is called dynamic charging so instead of making it static charging so that means uh, static charging also wireless technology also available nowadays actually it's going to be come up in india very very soon also and you can see how vehicles are going to be communicate each other and then you know this uh, how fully this vehicles are going to be autonomous and even flying cars is going to be successful already it's been demonstrated already even there are two company terrafuga aeromobile two companies okay they already called for you know pre order okay if you have money anybody you can order for you know flying cars actually this is what innovation in the you know vehicles like you know even drones so we we, we didn't see the drones in 10 years ago now we were you now every day we are we were seeing the tvs and real time even you see the some marriage functions and everywhere so drones this is also some kind of innovation actually and even you can look at the you know some kind of you know air base you know so transportation system in the you know metropolitan this is china is building it actually so in, in the ground floor i mean here you have a road but this will move this is called some kind of a mono rail type actually even reliance also i think they are going to be con- constructing in the you know in india also so one project and even look at the some of the you know innovations in agriculture sector also like you know how the you know crops you can put it and then so transfer you know you can make it and you can look at the how the you know inside plantation you can do without soil this is without soil just with the water actually without soil this is also innovation and you can see the cropping technology also so you might you see a lot of innovations in this so this is how i i, I can show you many examples okay so in all the sectors you know we are daily we are aware of and we are into this kind of you know, innovations in our life actually and uh, what we can recommend to everyone like you know innovate that but not invent actually and here there will be two approaches one is match to invention to innovate so that means your approach here incremental way but there is other way also you can do so create demand based on the innovative applications of innovation that is a disruptive approach so there are two ways to approach okay in this you know innovations actually and uh, Uh, you can look at one of the innovations some um, nowadays actually it's uh, i mean uh, mostly based on you know built on the open source softwares actually so open source softwares are you know contributing a lot for this a lot of innovation nowadays or what you see in different sectors actually so this is available freely to us actually so internet so it's a software basically with the, with the secured code and license copyright everything and it's a open for the you know like a open collaboration also you can do with the different platforms actually and also what are the open source types you can you can see you can available like with a, uh, like a software is available coding is available server and cloud computing is available and hardware also some of the software hardware is also you see under open source category so where you can utilize for the stage and you can see these are free, free to use and free to share you can free to change them also also and you can also free to sell your work so whatever based on work you could do based on this software and hardware you can sell your work to somebody else also so this is how we can open source also contributing to lot of innovation nowadays so that you can reduce your you know cost estimation all these things in our in you know incubating your you know innovations like and even this is example like you know so google open source uh, uh, you can see lot of more than 2000 projects are you know there you can get lot of benefits you can go in there, get into details and then you can uh, do that actually you can also uh, collaborate with you know this open source technology of google and any other platforms also so one of the other programming languages also it needs some uh, because many automation technologies when coming actually we need to depend on programming so uh, now we can see all of you know that you know python is leading now so python is scoring 100 but it's uh, last 2 3 years is a uh, python is leading as a top programming languages 
and you look at the that is what python as of you know that it's open source technology and as it's a you know it's interpreted high level general purpose programming like that's why you know nowadays you know if you go to any interview so they talk you know about you know they ask you about questions about python okay and there are low cost solutions coming up well uh, for the students particularly so i just giving you some ex- example so where this one of the example for raspberry pi so where it is called as a single board computer and it is available with you know 1gb 2gb even it is available with 8gb also it's a more than you know powerful computer it don't need your cpu so just this is a you know single board computer just we need is one you know um, a monitor keyboard mouse so this will cost you like you know 4gb ram around 4000 rupees will cost monitor 2000 and then keyboard and mouse that means you will get a complete one computer system with less than you know 7000 rupees this is what uh, this is definitely you know i call this is innovation okay because it's mostly w- widely popular and then successful and it's available in the market and this is by Ra- raspberry by foundation it is released and it's w- widely it's been into many sectors like including education sectors all the students are using nowadays actually and you don't need to spend for laptop you don't need to spend for money for a high end computer and all so you will just get a computer with less than you know 8000 rupees and even the uh, even kids for kids general purpose uh, you know purposely so like raspberry pi 0 with wi fi so it has a wi fi module also it is just you know this will just 1000 rupees or 1200 uh, less than 1200 rupees you will get it this and just you need to attach your you know keyboard mouse and monitor and you are there in this case you will get a system less than 4000 rupees and this is how we can promote the you know low cost solution for the students particularly okay so they can do everything they can do word uh, i mean uh, i mean a uh, powerpoint videos and python programming anything open source low ca- i mean uh, lightware software so you can install and work it and many you know computation and programming and skills also you can able to uh, know per put there and then you can analyze and this is how raspberry uh, foundation they give the projects you know data hub actually so you can browse lot of projects there are hundreds and thousands projects are available here you can browse them and there is a systematic way how the projects are uh, should execute they will give step by step so you can click it and we select one project and go there and it will tell you how to in uh, each state what to do how to interface with the device and how to write a programming everything in detail very much clearly it's given here actually and all of maybe some of you might be aware of this you uh, know low cost microcontroller that is arduino and uh, there is a lot of versions are available in arduino so this is also been very popularly used nowadays you know many some small control and embedded app- applications like so like you know you might have seen lot of student projects nowadays actually they are doing btech projects they are and even other you know non engineering students also they are working on the arduino based projects because this is very low cost microcontroller even one clone uh, micro uh, microcontroller that uh, people are getting with less than 300 rupees or something like so original it is i mean close to 1000 rupees or something and you can look at the uh, arduino also has a, a project hub okay you can see lot of categories what are the students like how in a youtube you you see the lot of videos actually similarly here lot of you know project videos they make it and they you know put it here actually so you can browse that and then you can also you can see copyright issues whatever and it's generally it's open source actually so you can do that actually all the you know projects one can do this easily actually so and even this is a projects we can sometimes you know we will get idea so where we will take it to next stage and next uh, further step implement so that may lead to innovation that's why i'm showing here both the database of the arduino and then raspberry pi and uh, this is another low cost powerful computer so nvidia just a nano it's a developer kit it's a small and powerful computer so that will run multiple neural networks in parallel for applications like uh, image pro- classification object detection segmentation and you know speech processing and it consumes a lot you know le- way, le- less power like you know 5 uh, less than 5 watts and this is how you know heat sink is being given and it's very powerful computer everybody we want to work on machine learning and deep learning algorithm so this is what low cost it you will get less than you know 10000 rupees so this is also work as a computer also it will work as a controller like okay so this is how even this is both raspberry pi and nvidia just a nano you might have seen in many applications even popular example drone so in drones you can use them okay so both so that is how it's been nowadays people are using for different applications this is one application and even uh, you can other accessories like you know intel neurostick this is also one of the innovative product from the intel okay so where this can be connected to your raspberry pi 
so where we can run it and you know deep learning algorithms okay and then it it becomes very powerful you know tool for the raspberry pi uh, additional and we can work on you know different areas like a smart cameras robot drones and smart cities smart houses and what's the reality this is applications where we can this you know people are using this you know uh, intel neuro stick you know with the combination with you know raspberry pi and all actually and uh, this is very p- widely popularly used this cost also less than 10000 rupees actually so that means what i'm going to tell actually you don't need maybe sometimes you know very whatever projects uh, students are doing or faculty at uh, i mean prototype level or something so actually you, you can do this all this you know edge computing things will work definitely actually okay even some of the industries also they are working with a lot of you know rapid prototype with this kind of raspberry and then intel neuro stick and other things actually and uh, another thing actually uh, the uh, generally the uh, students or anybody and you know uh, they will get lot of you know some kind of a skill set and then they they will come up with some kind of creativity when you participate with or when you use some kind of open source and you know competitions or something so i just i am just mentioning here lot of you know open source and then competitions and code uh, competitions are nowadays available like you know people can uh, should participate in this and gain the knowledge and there, thereby you can bring up your you know uh, creativity in your work actually so this is what i was just telling grow with google this competition and then amazon open source medium hanker rank and then code forces top coder these are all things you know where students can i know or anybody you know any graduates or anybody can participate and can uh, uh, you know participate in uh, competitions and get the prizes also they give some scholarship they get prizes they give gift vouchers they give gift uh, i mean uh, t-shirts many things you will, that you will win from this actually it is possible and lot of hackathons also happening so where these hackathons will bring some kind of again you need to bring up with some creativity and innovation actually in the hackathon then only you will get a good i mean repetition and it will take it to next level so that's why these hackathons are so important for the learners and also there are a lot of project you know uh, platforms also there like a google summer code summer of code they call for summer internships and then get up where we can collaborate our work with others and then we can uh, do uh, co together work and then code rise and google open source and mozilla and then linux these are all you know open source you know project platform where we can collaborate with others and then carry out you know innovative project that is possible here actually you don't need to pay any money there and also there are a lot of you know open source frameworks also there so mango db and then raspberry pi uh, with you know google cloud platform ubuntu typescript and react and angular and this is very popular you know website making for the you know from the you know facebook and google okay this is from uh, react from google uh, facebook and arduino and uh, no arduino uh, foundation also we have seen like so these are all many open source fair from where we can you know collaborate and then come up with some kind of you know uh, innovative work and even other also tensorflow it's been very popular for machine learning actually people are using widely and then maxnet and uh, bitbucket and docker all these things actually so where you know you can you know uh, uh, you can work on different algorithms actually and database also also there are some uh, uh, e academic institutes maybe they can you know uh, apply for the you know ibm academic initiative so where you know they will uh, with institute login id where they can get the ibm free education tools for them actually so we can have a initiative program at your institute also that's possible so this one where we can uh, of course ibm is working on lot of you know machine learning and ai techniques nowadays so where we can, one can explore that also and uh, coming to main data what uh, you know where you find innovations data and innovators you know data or something so one is you know i will recommend some of the website for us best for us like a national innovation foundation we will have a glance at the end and techpedia and this two for india and mit technology review they every year they review the lot of innovations they call for a technology innovations uh, every year top 10 and also they also announce the you know 35 innovators under 35 years so they will also publicize so this is how we will find where we will find innovations on innovator data and innovation needs novel thinking but there is no age limit so you can anybody can do innovations so even i will show you some of the example later stage so even uh, you can whatever stage at there you are at 60 years or 65 or 70 or you are, you are at you know less than 10 years also no issue so innovation doesn't have any you know age barriers like 
okay and generally where to participate okay when you have all these things innovative things okay where do you participate so you can participate in india smart india hackathon that is possible and you can have a like you know uh, uh, startup uh, boot camps it's you know uh, organizing by different you know startup companies and then like you know state government and so where you can participate and i triple make in india entrepreneurship boot camp also i triple also conduct there where you can come up with innovations and you can take it to next level ibm hackathon pan it hackathon india innovative initiative that is i3 ca so that is also government of india program and dst ta innovation challenge and india innovation growth program that is also by india's uh, government of india and then tata trust and is uh, 3m ca young innovators innovation challenge techpedia national innovation foundation awards and uh, ina innovative student project award okay even ina national indian national academy of engineering they give you the best innovative projects for every year at btech level and mtech level and phd level so every year they call for i mean they invite for student project and nrdc also national research development corporation they call for startup and innovative projects and my msme uh, startup india and my startup and a contest by britannic gold uh, company best famous biscuit company and uh, dst startup nidhi i to place project expo so like this so there are n number of competitions are available for you by repetitive i mean mnc companies and then government agencies where you can exhibit your innovative things actually nowadays this is what you know how the you know nation is increasing every citizen of country and look at the you know very close to students and faculty of the engineering particularly in the not only engineering and other higher education institutes in india so last year you know government of mhrd and then ugc act they come up with you know uh, national innovation and startup policy 2019 this is the first policy was released i believe and uh, this is lot of guidelines is given actually how do you want how do you set up innovation council how do you make a startup policies for your students and faculty inside the your institute so very clear i mean guidelines is given for all of us actually so one can follow this actually it's a very uh, i mean uh, ready to implement okay this policy document so you can search it you can download from aict website go i mean ugc and mhrd also okay and uh, also another uh, one um, platform where government is promoting that is an uh, atal innovation mission so where uh, this is uh, aim to innovate the things actually so they can apply for you know atal trickering labs are there at schools and then colleges and university levels they support all the level, you know labs for the different stages also so that is supported by directly by niti ayog and this is the labs are being now many places is available in andhra pradesh also there are quite good number of labs available under this scheme atal incubation mission and uh, you can look at other scheme like you know new generation idc uh, so that is you know innovation and entrepreneurship development center okay by the supported by this is uh, by the you know dst department of science and technology where they call for proposals for the inst- institution generally so where we can apply with your innovation work okay so then they will give you fund so generally this application needs 10 btech pro- i mean 10 project student project where the mentor should be i mean uh, apply it and the college or institute will get this kind of scheme and they can able to guide them mentor them and make you know encourage them to make prototypes and finally you can exhibit you know uh, products and then they will help you to make convert into a startup venture kind of thing okay and uh, you can look at the other uh, like you know uh, this is what i was previously told so niti ayog this is was supporting atal incubation centers actually so setting up agatha uh, there was call so now whenever it call is on so the institution generally they can apply it and get it done actually okay and uh, even look at this another popular you know uh, uh, this uh, uh, initiative by the ministry of education earlier it was mhrd so innovation cell at the all the higher education institutes that's what you know institute innovation council has been establishing now everywhere so now this is what every year they you know used to conduct the national innovation contest so this year also they call for 2020 so apart from the this uh, smart india hackathon actually so you can look at this one your college or anybody you know you can apply like innovation ambassador and you know, incubators okay pre incubators and innovative con- uh, you know contest you can you know involve so like this so many there are many hackathons and many programs being conducted by this uh, ministry of you know education innovation cell and you can look at the you know 
uh, policies so like in you know, how they are you know aim is to create a you know, vibrant uh, local innovation ecosystem and st- startup uh, supporting mechanism in all higher education institutes in india so this is how they are promoting and lot of opportunities we have with this you know innovation cells which is promoting by government of india and uh, also you can see ykti 2.0 for the you know submissions of the innovations technologies startup details for high degree students so you can just click on and participate we who can participate the student faculty startups are uh, from the education institute institution incubators investors everybody can participate here so they can submit the idea that can be taken for a further level actually so this is also you can do that and even smart india hackathon it's a very popular event organizing by ministry of education every year they are conducting at the region level local level and then you know final grand finale i mean so that's how they are doing it and it's a very successful event and they are conducting a software mode and then software segment and their hardware segment also and both combinations so this is how uh, you will have a multiple stages where the screening is there and you will have a nice you know uh, i mean uh, uh, this for like you know interview kind of thing will be there so and you will make a videos and lot of is very very much interesting this hackathons it's i mean one of the i mean top uh, hackathons uh, conducting by the india and look at the you know other you know parts like an you know, ieee so how ieee is coming into picture like ieee is feeling the fourth industrial revolution that is right now we are into cyber physical system so we were into steam industry point 1 electricity computing now cyber physical system so now ieee whatever you see the lot of autonomous technologies now ieee is you know uh, contributing uh, you know in a in tremendous way and you look at the you know somebody wanted to know what is the latest technologies okay so i would recommend that you know i to play spectrum where you will get any topic you see engineering generally so any special reports all the like you know you can see the top technologies you will see here actually so maybe some of maybe these are maybe articles not by the done by i to play member but i to play spectrum i to play collect the whatever information wherever the innovations and technologies are happen so they will i mean try to project and then they try to publicity here actually so you can see lot of technical advancements we really here daily and you can see lot of uh, you know information about any kind of you know engineering knowledge that you can get here and uh, ieee has a technical communities like in a different emerging technology you can like a big data brain cloud computing cyber technology entrepreneurship or uh, life sciences you can take rebooting computing smart city smart grid so on transportation you can see this is how ieee also thinks beyond that actually so beyond the present and even if you look at the some of the projects innovative projects required some kind of data so you can see that i to play data port which is it's a well bits open source so where you can enter and then you can see how many data suppose if you are working on the artificial intelligence you can see here there are 160 is the uh, no data sets available under this category and uh, now you can see communication 149 so this is how we can see i to play is also contributing for data set for the any, any project works actually so even you can able to access that in up to 2 tb okay up to you can do that access the data so 2 terabyte so that is how is i to play contributing to lot of innovative projects for the all the learners and uh, look at the you know uh, uh, how do you promote these innovations education institutes so one is you know institutes can build this you know uh, dst kind of you know dst supported new gen iedc and uh, incubation centers and uh, institution can apply for msme rnd center and also ca also uh, confederation of indian industry also they support academia industry center also and then ministry of education uh, institute innovation council also they try to i mean they will help us to set up at your institutes like so generally these are the possible and uh, i will uh, so next is i will just come to main another part where i'd like to uh, show you like uh, uh, some of the innovations like you can go to here nif okay so i hope this screen is visible so nif.org.in national innovation foundation it's autonomous body of science department of science technology so where you can see the innovations by the done by the indians like so you can see that you know some of the innovation like you know i can so i can say go here there are two types of innovation awards every year being given and been a, a, a award function and another is ignite so ignite is meant for the uh, particularly school kids okay school children so i believe i think i think uh, below 10th class 10th class below something like and uh, no below these rank of college okay 
and you can see the this one grassroots awards so where you can see the people okay general public okay they do lot of innovations you can see here so where this is how you can see suppose this is if i click it so he is a person from a, a category agriculture he got it and lifetime achievement award so it was awarded in 10th national grassroots innovation function so he belongs from the this uttar pradesh so where he has you know uh, made improved plant varieties actually so this is how he made the innovation actually in his agriculture field so like that you know you can go through different you know you can see this is what another intelligent googles for blind so the, he is not a student again you can see here so he is a national award is under national category engineering sector this is what and he is from arunachal pradesh it is awarded in the last function so this is a what actually okay so googles for the blind okay this is what innovation it was promoted and you can see here this is tractor operated you know paddy uh, transplanted so where how we can you know put this all your you know seeds and then you can grow the them actually so this has been now actually there are machines are available but what he has done it you know he made this a uh, customized design and he attached it to his own tractor so that's what you know he made you know innovation here actually so this is how you can see there are a lot of various i mean people in india so they are coming with a lot of innovation you can see here i can i can look at i can sorry you. sir your voice is so low can you make it somewhat ha ah, yes yes now you can look at here this is ax come this is come hammer so you can hear multi purpose okay so this is how this is also utility under utility category he is from jammu and kashmir so now this is what another innovation so this is how you can see lot of innovation now you can see here this is another innovation it's a by, by community okay so a community in the meghalaya they developed the community nurtured grassroots innovation they, they made a bridge you can look at the okay so they got it this is also innovation so this is how people now we can look at here this is bamboo wind musical instrument okay so musical instrument made with bamboo so this is another innovation okay so now you can look at here cooking cum dry, no drying stove okay so this is cooking cum drying stove it's combined one okay so this is what a hybrid so is hybrid technology so you can look at that is how you know one can look into all these awards and you can see here how india is promoting from 2001 on what it was first function so where you know india government of india is you know encouraging the public also general public so he 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 can be your mother father relative anybody at any stage they can do innovations and government is in appreciating and suitably with a lot of awards also and you can see ignite so you can see ignite the school children how they are getting the ideas so you can see here this is innovation by the student uh, you know up to 8th class category so engineering so this innovation is solar ironing cart so the person now he is making iron but whatever the energy he is getting from solar only this is what 8th class student has done it he proposed this innovation actually he demonstrated so this is how is very very interesting this and even look at this another one expandable food plate so this up to 8th class she is from karnataka padmasri and look at the how this box is expandable like this is a box and you can see the how it is going to be expandable okay it's innovation definitely and you can see insect killing uh, dustbin okay so this is proposed by a uh, student from orissa up to 8th class category and you can look at this is in a, a interesting you know uh, innovation by the student up to 8th class from ba- you know bangalore karnataka you can see that lot of you know we you try to remove the dust and all fan and the roof, rooftop i mean uh, ceiling so now we can see what the people are finding lot a lot of dust falling on you itself actually now you can find it like like it's like a arrangement like umbrella so where you can it will collect it so this is an idea actually okay and you can look at lot of you know awards you can see and even you can look at the other years also lot of innovation i i need to go more details like you know like this 
and even you can see here animal car cars picking vehicle so you you will see generally you know a lot of vehicles you know uh, do uh, this crashing and it dies and then fall on the roads and nobody will bother about it actually so you can create a, i mean design a vehicle so that it can automatically pick up it okay you no know, there is no manual uh, thing or something he is just doing i uh, see is doing it actually so this is how it's one innovation is proposed by the up to 8th class he is from a student from the madhya pradesh and you can see here dust bin trapped vehicle detector in case of any i mean uh, dog or something it trapped in dust bin so there is an indicator he is developed it his class is uh, category is you know 11th to 12th okay up to before to college level they used to give and you can look at lot of lot of innovation you should go to more more and uh, okay and you can see here speed indicator back seat very interesting so generally uh, maybe i uh, i used to think that you know in my childhood why one back wiper is not there nowadays it is available now you can see here there is a back a back window back side vehicle you can see the speed indicator okay this is how you can get to know what speed he is going so that you can eliminate the accident so he is a student from delhi so that's how he has been recognized and this is you can see watch with uh, button with uh, for uh, pregnant uh, spray and uh, for bullies whatever you know anybody is try to attacks any anyway, you can try to spill it and then he will be i mean uh, uh, at i mean avoided like and you can see here attachments and drilling machine gather you know uh, metal chips okay this is also good nice and this is a student actually okay so how it we can capture the things and all so this is how you can see and uh, a device to assist blind people on the road okay so this is how you are going to assist it so so that okay so where this he has your on wrist there is a, a watch kind of thing and here also there is a detector so where we communication transmit with both so that he will himself he will detect that bus has arrived and he can get into that and I, that's this how we can see lot of innovations i can show you like okay a lot of you can see here emergency light on two two wheeler so you can see here emergency light and then you know monitoring device to top uh, mischief and vehicle and then and even one of the innovation i remember there was a one innovation uh, for your uh, uh, i mean uh, no washing uh, washing and all uh whatever you know in uh, washing machine you see you know uh, you try to get it out the you know soap water but still you can use the recycling of the recycle of the soap water again to another wash actually so that is also this one innovation i have seen so lot of thing you can see safety device for door especially in automobiles and you can see here supply water line with it. these are all done by kids only so let i mean they are into college i mean school i mean schools okay most of them they schools actually and you can see so suppose if somebody wanted to see like i will say all i will put state of andhra pradesh ignite category how many school children got the award uh, from andhra pradesh i can search it here i have the option here you can look at the the our students from you know uh, andhra pradesh you can look at these are the innovations proposed they got awarded like so this is smart device for rack picking and then you can see here a lot of you know container cleanliness you uh, know indicator and you can see here hygienic cloth hanger okay and this is innovations proposed by a student from andhra actually okay and uh, you can see that lot of you know uh, publications all this thing i recommend to go through all the you know these reports and all so where and also another popular one so where you can uh, these students and uh, you know innovators they will be called for a function festival of innovation entrepreneurship 9 so that will held every year in rashtrapati bhavan so even innovators will get the opportunities to a you know one program called the scholar in house program by offered by the uh, president of india so where students can go and then stay there all i mean innovators okay so this one opportunity where you can submit the you know ideas also suppose i have idea so you can submit it so you can pull the this form so name age all these thing details and your idea and then you can upload the file you can submit it so this is how you can able to submit your ideas to the directly national innovation foundation and they will take it to next stage definitely okay and another one is i would like to show you 
Techpedia. This is founded by the Professor Anil Gupta. So he is from uh, IAM Ahmedabad. Uh, next to him, uh, Professor Mahesh uh, Ma Ma uh, Raghunath uh, Mashelkar. He was a former vice chairman of NIF actually and minister. And you can see the projects here actually uh, where the summer schools are being conducting here actually. Okay, so Techpedia conducts uh, summer school. This is supported by the I mean DST and the National Innovation Foundation. And you can see the uh, universities, some of the universities also joining this, okay, collaborating. And a lot of awards you can see here. Again, Ignite, you can see from here also. There are inclusive innovation awards and Meshelkar, in you know, inclusive innovation award and energy global awards. You can see a lot of things. And I, I would like to show you here one option. Uh, that is one first one, Gandhi Ng Technological Innovation Award. And if you want to submit it, you can click it and then do it. And you can see the what are the car categories you can apply for innovation and the submit your innovation. Like aerospace engineering, agriculture engineering, agriculture. This is not only for engineering, it's any sector, any area that you see. So you can submit your you know, innovations here actually. So throughout the year, you can submit here. This is one option. So you can look at the, you know, like projects. Suppose I would like to see 2009 project, okay, the under this Gandhi and Young Technology level. So this is the projects you can see here, what are the submitted, okay. So these are all pro projects abstract, it's available where this, I mean, it's uh, applied for the award category, okay. And you can look at the uh, winners, I would like to see, I will show you winners, 2009 winners. So this is how you can see, these are the awards will be given for the students at the bachelor level and master's level and PhD level. So previously what uh, that Ignite, so Ignite will be given for the, uh, you know, uh, school category, I mean, uh, university category, but whereas this Gandhi Young Innovation Technology Award will be given for the uh, student level at university level, uh, bachelor level, master's level and PhD. Okay, so all three categories will be entertained and they will give awards here. So this is what the last year innovative awards you can see here. So you can, if you want to see that, you know, uh, details, you can need to get into that. Okay, so a lot of uh, projects. Uh, I'll show you the, yeah, we'll show you some of the interesting one. Uh, these are awards, award winners. I should click out award winners. Uh, two, this is 2014 okay no problem so this is what you know you can see we will see this let us see so these are already award actually this is development and evaluation of woman friendly uh, vaginal in seed hydrogen for swim embolization so this is one category this is one and then lot of things you can see here uh, we'll see this and highly a uh, stable metallic nanoparticle semiconductor uh, heterostructures via click chemistry for, for photoelectric photoelectro and then photocatalysis applications so this is what here there is one uh, chemical project here chemistry so this is in 2014 it is given actually they are from the iit kanpur actually so you can this is a submit in here so you can see that that's how you can see lot of innovations you can see and you can get the details okay so this i would like to show you and uh, before coming to uh, last last one i would like to show you uh, mit uh, technology review this is another one you can go so mit technology review so where they every year you know uh, they try to bring up the top 10 technologies and top 10 innovators also, 35 innovators also. So where uh, you can see this, so I would like to show you so a big story you can see and then a lot of technologies, okay, events, okay, magazine, everything. So MIT and MIT review, a lot of technological advancements you can see here and uh, Yeah, break, yeah, technology review. Yeah, you can see here. So this is what I would like to show you. So you can see a top 2020 this year. What are the top 10 breakthrough technologies in 1918 like this? So you can go into this way. Okay. So this is one first you can see here. Unhackable internet. 
this is one of the top technology in 20 2020 year it's announced by mit technology review and you can go to details and the hyper personalized medicine this is another technology and digital money this is also recognized one of the top technology this year and anti aging drugs and a discovered molecules that's what you can see here a how into the science also artificial intelligence and satellite mega uh, constellation and you can see here quantum so, uh, supremacy so these are all different technologies okay a tiny a so okay so these are top technologies okay recognizing this year differential privacy so this out i would like to recommend to so one can go to different years and have a list and get into more details of the breakthrough technologies announced by the mit technology review okay so okay so let me go back to my presentation uh, for with, with this I will, i will try to end my talk and what are the possible steps now so once you understand now you uh, know creativity and innovation okay so creativity it's there already been inbuilt with us only only thing is we need to uh, you know uh, uh, like you know we need to bring it out from you that is only i would just you know, recommend to everyone any citizen okay and uh, next is innovation it's like you know uh, whatever you do okay so main thing is you need to come up with some kind of you know usable and uh, you know uh, product kind of thing even and then only thing is you need to concern about what is the economic okay of the that innovation then only it will be success uh, many innovations i can recall so most of the innovation they failed also later stage also because they are not viable they are not in you know, a economical solution because that is what they are vanished also like even though they are innovative okay so this is what we two things you need to keep it and the main you uh, know things what we need for students and faculty anybody at the early stage in this you know uh, in this learning stage so one is you know we need to have some kind of a mentorship that's what i recommend for students and faculty so faculty should mentor continuously students and then even faculty also should get mentorship for the senior fellows and senior faculty any professionals also so that's how these all things will come up okay and then you can have a, some kind of a brainstorming sessions uh, between students and faculty you can conduct such kind of such a, i mean uh, sessions you can have it uh, we even we can collaborate with some kind of a professional bodies like ieee also so ieee also help uh, you know uh, getting help uh, to conduct such kind of brainstorming for the all the anybody and uh, boot camps you can conduct you can conduct also you can participate it so being a agency or being a institute or organization you can also conduct and also as a participant individual you can you should able to participate in such kind of a boost camps also so that your all ideas can be ignited and then come up into next level and also you can also come up with some kind of a organization come up with idea submission cell where the students and faculty anybody stakeholders they will come and deposit your ideas okay and there will be people will be there definitely and to mentor you and take it to next level how to bring this idea into as a product or some kind of a, a service kind of thing also and even uh, one can apply for you know grants and innovation incubation center to set up it because when you have a center dedicated that center i mean will fulfill your all the requirements i mean technically as well as financially also and also uh, anybody you know student so they are, they can be at any stage or any whether you are coming uh, schooling or college pre university or college uh, everywhere so you can do the project work so generally what tendency that we see student uh, they will assume that you know my final year project i have the only final semester eighth semester btech in case of so if you have any bsc i will have a project work in the final year also so don't think and don't wait that kind of moment so you should do project works every stage every semester so that's how the creativity innovation comes up from you actually so you don't wait as per curriculum and you can also attend some of the you know summer camps and summer internships where you can enhance your skills and then these all skills will be motivated towards innovation only 
and uh, also you can cultivate and nurture the undergraduate uh, no undergraduates particularly in research this is what in missing in indian education system so research is not part of undergraduate education so generally we see research in masters a little bit and they people mostly they fixed with research means phd only but why can't the undergraduate students like whether it is ba or bsc or ba btech so they can do also research at the, you know at their graduation level that is possible actually so we need to adapt to such kind of you know orientation and uh, technology integration in you know, a curriculum this is what new education policy also emphasizing so where technology also playing a good role so coming with a lot of you know developments in curriculum actually so that even you enhance your skills also for the next generation and also you can linkages uh, make the improve the linkages with other institutes and organizations sometimes you know you feel that you you don't have a good linkages or good mentors in our college or something near nearby so we always don't wait for that opportunity there are people lot of around you itself in andhra pradesh also and you can start linking individually also you can make linkages institute institute also that is also possible always so nobody will deny anybody request generally okay and linkage is with patent cell because ultimately when you make any innovation it's the most important again you know you can you know patent it actually so that we can do it so okay and next is you know you can have the some kind of industry problem so you can try to so, you know uh, come up with some kind of solution to those problems so this is how we can also uh, you know uh, contribute to industry in a innovative way so this is always possible because you know industry is always you know uh, looks care to create to, uh, towards the creativity innovation so that's what you will get opportunity to work with industry if you are going to solve the industry problems directly and also you can have a strong relation with the you know uh, you can maintain the you know institution can maintain the industries and venture capitalists so that your whatever innovations can be take it to next level like a startup kind of thing and also you can also uh, generally any institute what you should do is so what kind of benefits and intensives that you are giving newly joined students at every year throughout the i mean through the orientation program then the students will get to aware of this all these things what have what happening this and what are the benefits advantages if you do this work this do the project work so this is how so generally you need to you know educate them when they come early to the your institute so generally i see personally also somebody also all the teachers will accept also so generally if you want to try to hire mentor any finally student so they may not may may not listen also okay sometimes that's a difficult because they say that we know everything and this is not necessary for it. our aim is there something different something like they may neglect it but when you have young minds okay like you know when you join uh, uh, newly joined students at every year so that's what when you do brainstorming session with them through orientation section toward this kind of you know uh, new activities like you know creativity and innovation definitely from the day one they will be attracted then they will be continue to do such kind of activity till they graduate actually so this is what easy we found with you know newly joined students every year and uh, campus startups this is what now government and everybody is supporting actually so that is more matter rather than placements now pay, placements almost you know we can say the placement era is go, almost going out now st- campus ca- you know startup is coming up so this is what now uh, government also recommending this students being a first year bachelor student whether it is bsc or bcom or you know btech also you can make your own startups in our college that is possible actually government is giving the provision now okay they are supporting well and whatever you do thing so we should make it open for all so don't make it any constraint that you know it is only should be available for my department for me or my institute or something so generally it should be catered to needs of all the public so anybody can come and invent they can incubate they can transfer the you know, knowledge tra- transfer the knowledge something like so this is how you know anybody can take you now possible steps any at individual level or institute level also i think this is what uh, needed right now uh, for uh, you know particularly education say, you know the scenario in india and uh, i wish you all the best i hope uh, i completed my task given task and uh, i wish you all the best for the, all the participants uh, who are attending this uh, uh, talk today so thank you so much for giving this opportunity i thank particularly so ap skill development corporation and uh, iwp vizag pay section also so giving this wonderful opportunity to me so thank you so much and uh, yeah you can if you want more details another one thing i, I could not show you uh, 
uh, you can go to indian patent cell website also where this how the patents also been you know uh, been done actually you can see lot of creativity in that okay even some of the things you might you see that you know a uh, small even tooth uh, tooth brush okay tooth paste okay anything you could take any daily life what you see you know uh, everybody is you know you can see lot of patents there actually okay so even even some of you, you know some of the com- they make you know chappal whatever you know wearing that is also patent so you see any gadget any product okay everybody all the company they are making patents actually so that's what it is no end actually okay so that's how you know you have a lot of opportunities okay so only thing is now i say that you know uh, three things learning so we should not forget learning so learning is should be continuous process and uh, and uh, i would say that apart from continuous learning there should be self learning you should adopt and don't wait for anybody some somebody my teacher my classroom or my college or institute will teach you so don't wait for that so now there is now this is a sensory for the self learning so now materials knowledge is open source okay unlimited so that's what i can say so knowledge is unlimited and open source now it is your duty and your responsibility if you have and you can make start self learning that's one another point thought learning i would say so global learning you should adapt to go global learning okay now you can see the whatever now you being in the uh, some village or wherever india or something but you are going to compete with others throughout the world so that's what we need to because whatever technology you are going to i mean develop so that will have a global competition okay global platform it need to be withstand the global competition also so that why you should you know uh, project yourself to be as a global learner also and this is what we should recommend to anybody for all the learn we should continue continuously learner and then self learner and uh, global learner so this is what you know please practice it and uh, enhance your skills okay so now a lot of open source softwares are there you don't need to say that sir, sir i don't know like you know i don't have money okay something like okay but it's uh, there are many open source how technologies and tools are available it's a free so using that also one can make lot of innovations that is possible nowadays actually so okay so this is what you can you don't need to blame somebody like your teacher or institution or something okay so resources are available so it's visible to you okay so now you need to i mean get it and then use it and then make it lot of innovative things that your life actually and uh, do uh, passionate about your work wherever you reach whichever your profession so whatever small job and big job don't bother about it so excel in that job given to you so that's what will take you further and your hard work will respect you and take it to good position to in our professional life also so i this is what i would like to say so now uh, with this i would like to end this uh, i would like to hear if any feedback and questions over there uh, whatever i uh, with my knowledge i would like try to able to answer your questions if at all is there hi sir can you continue yes sir participants if you have questions please raise your hand or if you can post the questions so you can see it in the question tab sandeep there is a question for you yes sir yes sir uh, i don't know this is there in the chat box uh, yes uh, chat box uh, should i read otherwise yeah, uh, yes so i will do it if not how can we go to research in undergraduation what uh, are the options can you suggest any hmm. anything yes so one thing is you know uh, undergraduate yes it is possible research okay so wh- we need to start with you know some kind of a small projects okay that's what people will say that mini projects okay so this mini projects can be you know the generally projects can be done at, at a, a, i mean uh, whatever quantity and level also like there are some projects you can do in one hour there are projects you can do overnight there are projects it require 10 days or one week there are projects one month or this thing this is how so what you do is the best way is you start with you know mini projects okay small small project maybe which are repeated also no problem this is how you will get experience and you will enhance your skills that is pro- easy uh, 
maybe suppose i don't know what is your background actually which uh, branch or uh, which education that you are doing it uh, suppose like uh, if i give that may i will give you more clarity suppose a engineering student okay join newly to the ed- any engineering college so i would like to tell them first is you know generally c language so you need to concentrate and then c++ and of course nowadays is python is being very popular language in many industries also and even python is been used extensively in the industries nowadays actually so this is how now we can start python is open source okay so only thing is now we can have a some kind of a computer system so that's what i made some alternative solution uh, low cost solution computerized system so you can use that and then uh, build your own i mean uh, projects okay you can make it and i have shown some of the references like you know uh raspberry pi and then arduino there are thousands of projects already been done. even if is even if you search in youtube also lot of projects are available like okay so what you can do is you can start using it and then lot of even coding you will get in internet lot of uh, websites are available so this is how you can practice them and make them and try to understand them and with that experience you will definitely you will try to take it to uh, sometimes you will get uh, this project could have been you know uh, extended to some other level you will your, yourself you will get some ideas okay and sometimes you know you will work on two projects but the, these those two projects can be combined okay this is how you can also bring it a new content for your project actually so that's how and even you can look at the curriculum wise so curriculum what curriculum and laboratory is demanding uh, whether i can do some laboratory project work as a i mean laboratory experiment as a project kind of thing this is always possible because in case of colleges so like you know laboratory experiments are very standard and it's a ready made like you know table top models and all but can we do yourself the same thing uh, the pre- same pre- lab experiment yourself with a uh, with your you know discrete components by building the integrating the different components on breadboard or something so whether you can do the same experiment on your own or instead of using the ready made kit or something like so this is how you need to do it for the yourself mold towards the project work and uh, get into different project and definitely you need to uh, get into touch with your faculty that's what i was trying to tell earlier also you need have to have some good mentorship so contact your teachers and daily contact them update them so you need to update this is another problem students do mistake they take up some project work they never updated they never come and met again the faculty or mentor actually they will meet after one week they will meet after one month they will meet after end of the project so that is not the case you should daily update when you whatever at any stage so then he will constantly he will give any in, inputs to improve or he will guide you well actually so i hope i an i answered your question because i don't know your background uh, that's why i generally i addressed it so he is from uh, bca okay yeah so b- bachelor of computer science, computer applications is it right now he can look into lot of you know service oriented uh, like you know applications okay so now we can see that like website building even website building also it's very much popular so now we can see the open source like you know uh, this react and angular so been built you can see lot of uh, you know popular website is being based on that platforms even android app development because lot of companies now it requires and app uh, android app uh, development mobile app development website building and then lot of you know you can create some kind of software tools how do you create suppose i give a task being a student can you create some kind of attendance monitor attendance system for your uh, class itself automatic you think yourself how can i make automatic system for attendance of the my own classroom okay so you can do that so that is easily easily you can do that actually so you can get the resources uh, all the things and all only thing is you can look at around yourself what is the problems in your class or in your daily life and bring up with some technological solution to that actually i i will add here we are basically aitribli vaisai is coming with a a uh, different to uh, pattern to encourage the friends for the purpose of r and d works typically you can slink continuously as of now it is little little blank we are coming with some kind of ideas soon so that maybe in this we will get an opportunity that to basically conduct a few programs purpose of students for purpose uh, doing research for uh, it is only come 
you can see this link soon. One more question is there. Sandeep, one more question is there. Okay, okay, sir. Is creative thinking really works in all aspects? Somebody asked me. Okay, ready. Bitte. Uh, it depends on situation, like uh, where where you are going to apply your creativity. Okay, uh, I don't know, actually. How do how do you answer? Like in all aspects means it depends on where we are working. Okay, uh, for what you are going to be uh, get a solution uh, through this creativity. Okay, whether really it helps. That's what we think. I, I will add you. It depends upon how much time and money you really can invest on that kind of a creative mm. thing also. Yes, of course. When yes. you are working somewhere, your boss tells some job. If you are sitting, sitting and uh, thinking creativity, he will not pay you salary. Therefore, yes. you need to see how much you can balance these things. That is also very important in creative thinking. Sometimes it's success. Sometimes it takes a long time to get success also. But uh, we need to really balance these things. Yes, yes. Sometimes it doesn't require money. Or suppose if we ask you, you go, you have to go back to your house in a shortcut way. You just use your creativity. Is it right? In that also, you can show your creativity. Is it right? So there. If if there are no questions, Saitya, you can close. Before closing, Saitya, I really really thank Andhra Pradesh uh, Skill Development, and in particular, Saitya, every day she was there with us. For the whole one hour, one and a half hour, I personally thank you for uh, spending this much time with all these kind of things. Really, I personally thank you on that. Suddenly, AP SSDC will thank for giving Aitrebe an opportunity to collaborate uh, with us for the development of students and other people who really join. Suddenly, we suddenly come up with more ideas, more collaborations in future also. Our team. Particularly, around uh, we have 500 volunteers are there in these five six districts. Most of them are ready to really volunteer and give talks. Uh, even when face to face comes also, they want to come and help. Do come kind of interaction with the students right from face to face. We in fact, if you really permit me one minute, I'll tell you. We went to Paderu and Aruku deep villages. And taught that students a kind of a small small circuits we took. We sat on the ground. We asked them to assemble, and they are really we could see a light in their face when they really the small projects really worked. Therefore, we are ready to do that kind of a things also. It is like that, Saitya. We really thank you very much. so one more thing thank you for that sir actually i want to take some feedback from the participants if they are willing to this participants yes sir uh, want... sorry sir i can't get you no no today's participants i know you have to send yes, a feedback. we have actually the regular participants also here so that we may give them the chance to speak about this uh, series of webinars done Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. No problem. Dear participants, would you like to give any feedback over here directly in online? If you are interested, please raise your hand. I can give you the access. Somebody raise it. Yeah, Narendra Kumar, I'm just handing you the mic. Hello, Mr. Narendra Kumar, are you there? Pallavi. Pallavi is here every day. I could see her. Yes, sir. Hi, Pallavi. Uh, 
Pallavi, can you all listen us? Yes, sir, I could. Hello? Please, Pallavi, you can hear Yes, sir, yes. Yes, uh, ma'am, uh, thank you for the opportunity given to me. And these sessions were very informative and uh, we expect uh, a lot and more and more of uh, sessions to be conducted so that it would be helpful for us. Thank you, Pallavi. Thank you, ma'am. Is anybody there to give feedback? Kindly raise your hand. Dear students, you need to speak out. This is exactly what we also feel. We want to listen to you. It is not that you speak right or wrong. But yes, you can portray your interest also. Ah, it shows exactly right. The next, you see, when you don't speak out, how do you face an interview tomorrow? That is what our concern. How do you really work in the society? How do you really mingle in a different society what you don't know tomorrow? Therefore, we want you to speak out because we know you little at least. Therefore, we want you to speak out. There is nothing wrong in if you speak something wrong also. It doesn't matter. Okay, Sahit sir, I think nobody is lifting their hand. Yes, sir. No. We can just do... Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you, Rakshmi Narayana Garu, for giving us this opportunity, actually. We want to make some um, uh, many more programs with you like this. And uh, actually, what our motto is to share, uh, to share the skills and upskill the students only. So kindly be with us and help us to enhance skills in AP. Certainly, madam, certainly, wherever, whenever you are. I'll tell you one more thing also. If you have a, something like uh, you have a, you, uh, you scheduled a speaker, but sometimes see what happens, you may not get the speaker last minute, the speaker is not to reachable or something happened. You call us, we will certainly arrange a speaker. In a similar topic or close to the topic, we are with sure, you. sure, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Dr. V. Sandeep Garu, we thank you very much for today's session. So it was much informative, and actually, this is this was uh, really, uh, I mean, uh, my favorite session too. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Sahib sir. We'll exit then. Yes, sir, please. Thank you, sir. Okay.